Before Mars Express, there was already quite good knowledge about the global shape of Mars, derived from uh, laser altimeter measurements, but these are just derived along ground tracks. What was missing was uh, area-based coverage by high-resolution images that could allow for stereo analysis. HRC was the first stereo sensor that was applied in planetary research and uh, we were able to derive from these data digital elevation models with 10 times higher resolution than what was available from the laser experiment. And this is done at the planetary scale, this means with global coverage. The process uh, for deriving digital elevation models and image maps for starting from the decoded raw data is very complex. This process uh, has to do two things. First, we need it has to operate very accurately. This means determine surface points with an accuracy of few meters from an orbitate of 200 kilometers. And second, it has to be able to work with really uh, large data volumes that uh, stem from the global coverage of the planet. The high resolution of the terrain models allowed us to study much smaller relief elements of the surface, for example, delta deposits or false carbs in uh, their exact 3D geometry. And there is also another aspect that is very important uh, with these data. And this is that we are able to give uh, the global coordinates for each point we are imaging. This is a very uh, important issue if it comes to uh, combining uh, data from different data sources, images from other sensors, for example, superimposing them and combining the information for each location. For NASA's Curiosity mission, HRC played an important role in selecting the landing site because HRC data are important to tie the very high resolution images which are needed for landing site planning with the global coordinate system. And this will also be done for the next landing mission of NASA which is called InSight.